Anchor Point and Path Manipulation 101. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, getting back to my concept of there's only two shapes in the world, there's a straight line and there's a curve. Something's either a curve or it's a straight line. So if you understand how to manipulate that path or that anchor point, you're gonna be very simple, it's gonna be very simple to create objects and shapes. As an example, if I select the oval tool by the letter L. Now how to create an oval from the center? I can create an oval from the center by holding down the option key or alt key. Holding down the shift key, I'll create a perfect oval. And there's my oval. So I'm going to select the oval and let's just give it a different color. Okay. Now, if you see in Star Trek, well, let's say I want to create the Star Trek logo. I'm sure we all remember what, how it looks. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this, but here's the most time efficient way to do it. Simply break down to its simplest, simplest premise. How many anchor points does it have? How many paths does it have? The Star Trek logo has four anchor points and four paths. Well, guess what? This circle has four anchor points and four paths. I'm going to make this a different color so you can actually see the path. Here's my path. Here's my path. Here's my path. Here's my path. So if you wanted to turn this into the Star Trek logo, I select these anchor points. These anchor points are going to move. These anchor points left and right are not going to move. I'm going to command K, go to my preferences, and change it to 36 pixels. Therefore, when I move my arrow keys, it's going to move it 36 pixels. So if I hit up arrow once, twice, three, four, there's my Star Trek logo. Simple, simple, simple. Now, some people would have created the path and created the left side of the path, then reflect the right side of the path, then join the top to the bottom. That's backwards thinking. I want to teach you clean, concise, how to create shapes. Simple, simple, simple. Command Z undoes. So let's take this one step further. Let's select these two anchor points and move to the left. Select these two anchor points and move it to the right. So let's go with this shape. Let's say I wanted to take this shape and basically rotate it from the center axis. I want to do this one, two, three times. So how can I do this? Well, it's imperative to understand the four transformation tools, which we'll go into great detail in another video. I'm simply going to select the rotation tool. Pick a point, rotate from, hold down the option key, and move the object. Hold down the shift key to constrain it to a 45 degree angle. Hold down the option key to make a clone copy. Clone copy, not copy, copy. Copy implies copying and pasting. This is cloning by holding down the option key. Windows should hold down the Alt key. Let go of your mouse hand first, so therefore I have transformed the object. What do I mean by that? Well, anything under the object menu that falls under this category, this category is a form of transformation, plus cloning, which is done by holding down the Option key. So basically what I've done is I have moved the object, I have rotated the object, and I have cloned the object by holding down the Option key. So I can repeat the transformation simply by duplicating it. Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D. So therefore, I have a very complex shape by creating one single shape. So now I can select, now if I hold down the command key, very important step here, if I hold down the command key for the selection tool, it's going to select part of the path. I don't want part of the path. I want all the path. I don't want to go to my selection tool. So I hold down the command key plus the option key. Choices for option plus the option key. You see that little plus symbol? Now I can select through the path and get the entire path. Get the entire path. Now I want to scale this. S, S selects the scale tool. I hit the return key. I'm going to scale from the center, from the center. Let's start out at scaling this at 80%. And D, another 80%. Why? Because object transform scale is what I just did. So I can repeat the transformation by hitting Command D. Let's undo this command. Z. Command Shift Z redoes. Command Z undoes. Undo, redo. Undo, redo. Okay, so let's take this one step further. I'm going to hit the return key. I'm going to scale this at 75% plus make a copy. Make a copy. 
fill color, select new fill color, and duplicate command D, new fill color, 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 etc., etc. So it's very simple to create complicated artwork by starting out with sim simple, simple objects. In this particular case, we simply started out with an oval. Okay, so let's command option, select through here. I'm going to scale the whole thing down. As for scale, hit the return key. Scale this at 25%. Hold down the command key. I'm going to position this right here. Okay, so now I want to scale it over. I'm sorry, now I want to rotate it around this point. So I hit the R for rotation tool, pick a point to rotate from, grab the object, move the object. As you move the object, Option key to make a cone copy, Shift key to constrain it. Let go of your mouse first. What have I done? I have moved the object, I have rotated the object, and I have cloned the object. I simply want to repeat it again. Command D. Think Illustrator. Think Illustrator. Think what it wants from you. That's how you get good at this program. Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, etc., etc. So therefore, let's say I want to take a B for brush tool and just do something like that. I'm going to select the object, go back to the rotation tool. Now here's the cool part. Illustrator remembers the last rotation you did. So if I hold down the Option key and click that point, there is the last thing I rotated. So I can simply hit Copy and Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D. Okay. Don't copy and paste. Copying and pasting is not how we do something in Illustrator. Clone copy by holding down the option key. Copy and paste. I would use copy and paste for copying and pasting in front, copying and pasting in back. But I would not do that for simply cloning the object. Command Z does. Okay. So this is anchor point manipulation and transformation. Let's go to another step.